we're going out tonight and we're gonna go to quiz night i haven't been to the specific one but i'm a big fan of quiz night so i love trivia i keep i just have like a lot of like random facts stored up in here and jay has even 10 times as many more and I feel like we complement each other's weaknesses quite well but yeah we're going with some of his work colleagues and then i'm gonna meet him at the office and then we're gonna go through together because i like he's a bit in he's in town and i'm not um and yeah i'll take you along i obviously can't recall a lot because you're not a lot of phones uh, so we don't cheat and things, but I'll take you along, see the vibes, see the peeps, and yeah, it should be fun. Simon's eyes. Scent I'm wearing is by Juice and it's Desert Rose. It's a French company or something, but it's bottled here in Cape Town, which I love. And I personally think it's a dupe for the Izzy Miyake, the Rose intense or whatever that perfume is and it smells really good and very affordable okay i want to do the quickest little uh outfit or whatever of the day um i still need to put some just my necklaces on quick but i have this little blue top i was trying to find my white like pants, trousers, thingies, but I don't know where they are, so that's weird. Um, so, so I went with like a sandy color, and then I've got these blue Adidas on, and got a little blue clip, and like a blue bag, and they'll match each other. So, um, this is what we're gonna wear. Yeah, I think it looks fine. Jules place was closed for it was like more fine dining and now we're on to they have a pasta and a pizza restaurant as in like two different ones so we're gonna choose which one we want to go to now but I think we'll be heading towards pasta <laughs> Guys, it was like literally 36 today. Not used to it. But at least it's a breeze. So, where we're going now, we're gonna go to another restaurant because the place we wanted to go to was closed. So, in Paul. We're back from the wine farm and I thought I'd do a little haul of the things that we bought, but I just forgot something in there. So, the first thing I picked up, which was in one of the first rooms, is this little strawberry jam um brenda's handcrafted produce we'll see how that tastes we have a bit of a bunch of jams currently in the fridge which was made by one of jamie's friends dad um but i like strawberry jam so i thought i'd try it and then 
we did a chocolate tasting but it was so hot so it, it ended up oh my god oh my gosh it ended up melting and as you can see now <laughs> cookie no one is like literally melted all over very good though it was 60 rand for the chocolate tasting and the other ones were not very expensive and a bunch of chocolates which i can assume is made there but i ended up picking up a turkish delight box instead of a chocolate it was just way too risky to buy chocolate on such a hot day so i ended up picking this up rather they're at least all intact this reminds me of that scene in narnia so do you watch narnia growing up and yeah. you know when edmund is offered like that turkish delight and it looks so freaking good but then you have Turkish Delight in real life, it's never like as good as it looked in on here. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a bit hard, but it's not. I don't drink a lot, but I was at my friend's house one time and they came. I don't know if they went to, they might have actually gone to Spice Root, I don't know. But they came home with a bunch of this thing, these ciders, this brand. It was the best, one of the, some of the best ciders I've ever tasted in my life. Because I don't really like ciders, but I love like fruity flavors. How do I open this? Try that flavor. Strawberry and lime. It's vegan friendly, apparently. Perry blended with strawberry lime flavor made from pure Swedish spring water. The mango one. I think it's still my favorite, but they didn't have them in the cans. But I'm over, I'm over gassy, gassy stuff for the day. So yeah, that was the haul. All around, very cute things, very cute place. What do you rate it out of 10 today? 7.5. The entire one. day, even Cattle Baron. With Cattle Baron. It picked up a little bit with the kettle bear. I rate the day like a pretty good eight in terms of how pretty it was and what we did and especially kettle baron. If you're ever in Paul and you're looking for some good meat, I suggest there. I never thought I'd ever suggest kettle baron in my life again since since I've known it. But um yeah, it was really good and the the waiter Pedro he served us was lovely uh -huh. very uh what's the word like attentive oh. just very attentive and yeah it's a good day though but now it's time to chill and get out the stress and relax and because i've been awake and out of this place for 10 hours since i went to gym and i just want to sit down on a comfy couch now because the chairs at the spice tree are a bit uncomfortable, but it's like a critique I'd give. <laughs> okay.